Hi guys, welcome to my channel over here at Nene's Prepared Kitchen. It is getting closer and closer to Christmas. And so I figured for it's not even 12 days now. My gosh, it's only what a week maybe? Somewhere in there. Maybe even less <laughs> by the time you watch this. Anyway. I figured it would be fun to make some M&M cookies. They're so bright and colorful, and really, they're not that hard to put together. And I think they would look really good on a Christmas tree. So, let's begin. We'll flower it up and make some M&M cookies. Okay, let me get my camera aim down there to the bowl. Okay, it's going to start out with, um, we have one stick of softened butter here. Get that into the bowl. Alright, into that we are going to be adding in, oh, let me preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? So in the bowl, um, we're going to be adding the butter and also our sugar and our egg. So the sugars is going to be half a cup of white sugar. So we're going to put that in there. Now we're going to have a third cup of some brown sugar. <laughs> and we're just going to cream this all together. Now if you wanted to do this with a mixer, you sure could, but I didn't feel like digging out a mixer and everything when I can do it perfectly fine with a spoon or, you know, something like that. So. So once you get it creamed all together, then let me get it off my spoon here. We are going to add in one large egg into that, and I think what I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and use some of this. Get that egg beat in there. Okay, now that we got that far done, we are going to add in uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. Into that. And that looks like all the wet ingredients that will be going in. So now we're going to add in one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm just going to uh, use my half cup and put in three of them. That one and a half cups of flour there. And also we are going to be putting in one teaspoon of some bacon powder. One teaspoon and a, and a spoon here. I'm not using my measuring spoons, I'm using a teaspoon. Okay, so we have one teaspoon of baking powder, now we're going to have a half a teaspoon of some baking soda. My oven is ready, whenever I am. <laughs> okay, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Um, my salt has butter in it. Um, if you're using unsalted butter, add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm not going to add salt in because butter has salt. Okay, now that we have that part done, we are going to mix it all together. Okay, 
Now I'm going to be adding in a one and a half cups of M&M's. Actually, I'm going to use one cup of M&M's and like a half cup. See? Look okay, at colorful. Okay. Cut the M&M's in half. And then I have some uh, leftover semi-sweet. So I'm um, going to dump the rest of those into that. Get rid of that bag. I lost M&M. It's lucky I didn't eat it. <laughs> okay, now we're just going to mix all this together and get it creamed. Into a sweet cookie batter. So, you can bake it. Now, if you want a thicker cookie, it says to chill it for um, like 20 minutes. Uh, if you want a thinner pepper, a uh, thinner cookie, you can cook them just like this. Put them, you know, by rounded teaspoons um, or, a, you know, a cookie scoop, whatever. So I think what I'm going to do, I am going to chill this for a little bit. And I'll be back. That'll give me time to clean up my mascara before I have to put them on the cookie sheet, but I did preheat my oven, so I can shut that oven off for a few minutes. Okay, we have that cookie dough done. My hands are clean. I just think I can form it into a ball here better. <laughs> I'll cover this up. Let it chill for about 20 minutes. And we'll make the rest of these m and these are soft and chewy M&M cookies, so um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe and I'll return in just a bit. Okay, I've had the dough chilling, the oven's ready. I'm going to go ahead, I, what I did, I put it in a plastic bag and it wasn't in there that long. I stuck it in the freezer for maybe like 10 minutes, so, but it is easier to put in a ball to put on your cookie sheet when you're rolling them out. Get down here a little bit. <laughs> so, I'm just going to roll them out. You can make them big or as small as you like. I can't throw them here because my paper is in the way. You will be able to in the next row. There we go. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go along and get these made out and hopefully these will be done before the kids get home from school <laughs> so i have a few minutes but i know they're gonna want one to try out once they see them i'll probably have to make more for christmas and i'll just let the kids go ahead and eat on these and, you know, enjoy the holidays, so. That's been what's going on. Yeah, I make it, they eat it, <laughs> and, uh, trying to have any, you know, for a plate to sit out on Christmas, well, <laughs> it's been challenging, but, you know, you got good stuff sitting out, they're gonna want to eat it, right? Okay. Almost got them done. Now it says that they're going to bake for only nine minutes. You know, everybody's oven is different, so it may take a little longer in your oven. Who knows? Okay, so I got them all on there. Cut up says what it is. Just take some of your M and M's, and if there's not enough M and M's in there, and just kind of go, um, you know. Crush down some of your M&Ms right into your cookie dough. I'm getting probably three. That was all orange. <laughs> oh. 
but they will be colorful, right? Just like Christmas should be colorful and joyful. And celebrate it because we are celebrating our Savior's birth. I am anyway, and I hope you are too. Even the grandkiddos. They knew I got the MMs and I've been saying them. You can't get into them, guys, because they're for Christmas trees. Okay, so that's been fun. And they've probably been wondering, well, how much longer do we have to wait? You know? Oh. Okay. Right there is what I have. I'll be back when they're uh, uh, when they're done. I'll let you know how long it takes in my oven. It says nine minutes. It could take ten, eleven, who knows? Or maybe eight. <laughs> so stay tuned. Hit your like and subscribe if you like M and M cookies. Okay, they are done. Let's see if I can get you over there to look at them. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and For cookies, that's hard to believe. We need to grab one. I think they even have them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I'm just so used to doing putting them on a towel, I guess. That's how I've done it all my life. So I'm what my mother did, and that's how I've done it. So, okay, whatever works. I got out of there. I have four more in the oven uh, finishing up. This is the last four I had. So we got four times three. We have twelve. <laughs> twelve of them done. And I will put them on a cookie sheet here in a few minutes. I think the kiddos are really going to like the M&M cookies. What do y'all think? <laughs> so, anyway... There is my other uh, 12 days of Christmas uh, sweets. I figured I'd do something bright and cheery and uh, do some cookies. So if you enjoyed the video, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next video. To look, God bless. See you in the next one. Flower it up, make some cookies or something. <laughs> okay, I will leave a uh, picture in the thumbnail or something of them sitting in the cookie sheet. I think they'll look very appetizing. Bye guys.